Hey everybody, welcome to my latest video about Linux MCE. I recently had a revelation in terms of troubleshooting and I was able to solve a problem that I've been having for a really long time. So I wanted to share that with you guys and you know just make your lives a little easier and help promote the project. So right now you're looking at an old motherboard that I pulled out and you'll see that I've got video card and the TV tuner card plugged into it and they're very close and you can see on this motherboard there are five um, PCI card slots and that's kinda rare actually I found that the newer motherboards don't seem to have very many slots for some reason so the motherboard that I'm using right now in the computer for Linux MCE only has two of these bad boys so I've got it spaced about as far apart as it would be in the computer that's actually running Linux MCE. So you can see that it's very, very close. There's about an inch of space right here, and from the fan to the other card is about an inch and a half. And so the problem that I was having is that the computer would just lock up, uh, hard lockups, and I would just have to restart the computer. There didn't seem to be any method to why it was freezing or when it just kinda happened and yet this same hardware would work just fine in a, a regular Ubuntu install with Myth TV it would never lock up so I was trying to figure it out and for a while I thought it was the processor I thought that was overheating and so I did some tests to see how hot the processor actually was and it was fine it wasn't it turns out it was the video card you see the fan is so close to this other giant card that there was just no ventilation and so the video card was overheating and causing it to lock up it took me a long time to find that out but that's the key video card heat and so when you guys are building your new computers for this system you gotta keep that in mind and there's a few ways around it and I'll show you what I did to figure this out sorry about the mess is I actually took the entire side of my computer off took out all the PCI cards and set a box fan to blow air into it and I haven't had a hard lockup yet and it's been it's been about a day now which I never would have been able to do with the old uh, with the old setup and so that's one method you guys can do if you don't care about the ugliness of having a box fan blowing air into your computer that will cool off your your GPU pretty easily Okay, but some of you, you know, you want a, a good looking system. So here's some tips that you can use to get a good looking system that won't overheat the video card. The first is move the cards as far away from you can from the video card as you can. And so in this one, you know, I could move it all the way over here, get about four inches of extra space between the tuner and the video card. And that would give it, I think, enough space to breathe. You know, and you got the, the case fans up right here blowing air down you would get good ventilation doing that um, but like on my motherboard you know there's only two slots so I can't do that um, and so I've resorted to the box fan but here's something you guys can do you can first take out your video card and check the fan if there is one uh, you guys can I think you can see that pretty clearly there's dust on this fan, you know, there's dust in the, on the sides and all over, and there's dust on the back, and it's a very dusty thing. So, get a can of compressed air and make sure that it doesn't have moisture in it. You know, moisture uh, affects circuitry. You know, starts the corrosion process. So, get a can of compressed air. You know, and they make them specifically for cleaning computer parts, and just blow that dust off and that'll help cool your your video card you know just doing that that's a free easy way and the other way that I thought of is that you can actually buy a uh, motherboard where the video card is built in so instead of having a tall card standing in the PCI Express slot or in this case an AGP slot it's built into the motherboard and usually they put the heat sink right around this area where this one is and so then the video card would be making its heat over here and the card, the PCI cards have plenty of space and so you're golden if you do that. 
and so I would highly recommend buying a motherboard that has a video card built into it. However, remember, always get an NVIDIA card. Don't get an Intel card or you know any other built-in video that they have. Go with NVIDIA and it'll, it'll work very well. And on top of that, you can also start consolidating your PCI cards. Um, I don't know of any motherboards that have a TV tuner built into them, but I know there's a lot that have um, surround sound cards built into them, you know, and serial, serial plugs. Um, so when you're buying your motherboard, you know, try to get as many integrated peripherals as possible. So then you only have a few PCI cards and you can get some case fans going and it will uh, it'll just keep your system nice and cool. And so that's what I learned guys. Your GPU temperature is important. And that was causing me hard lockups. So check that out and I hope it helps. Stay tuned.